hello everyone here in this video we're gonna learn about joins that means how can we join the numpy arrays in python let's understand that so there are many ways concatenating is one of them right so when you want to join arrays using concatenate all that you need to do is write the numpy name then provide the function which is concatenate put the tuple of arrays which you want to join and then the access value this is optional right access is optional you don't mandatorily need to provide this thing let's understand this there are many values which we supply with access let's understand them with the help of an example okay so here we have two arrays to which we want to join using concatenate now before we proceed further let's understand what all are the values that we have for access there are three values zero one and none so when you use zero it does the vertical join what does vertical means means it simply puts it simply combines the arrays one below another how is that so so it's like this right so how would you do this first you need to write np then provide concatenate then put the tuple of arrays and then put the value of axis which is zero all of them will be separated by comma when you do this you get this kind of output let's understand the output so if you notice over here so here you see this particular part is taken from here thing which you should notice is it is not considering this particular bracket what it is considering is the content inside that bracket okay so it is taking that part from here and putting that over here you see then it takes this part from here and put it just below the first array you see so this is how it does the concatenation when you provide the access value equals to zero by the way this access value equals to zero is the default that means if you don't provide if you don't supply this access parameter if you put the value still here only it will do this kind of job okay it will combines the arrays one below another so the other one the other value for access which we have over here is one and what does that means that means horizontal join so when you supply access value as one it does the horizontal join what does that mean means it simply puts the arrays side by side let's have an example over here so if you see the same array we are considering over here as well so if you see it does the joining like this so it is taking simply this set and both of these two sets right and it is putting this particular set just next to this one but if you notice over here it is taking element from this row and including that into this row same it does for this second row and whatever rows you have it does the same thing over here if you notice over here so it simply combines both of the arrays side by side if you notice here it is taking 33 and 22 and putting it over here 12 and 45 and put that over here okay so it's that simple side by side join with and for that we need to supply axis value as one then it comes to none none means flat join okay so when you use none you get this kind of output this is 1d array right so what is it doing is it is combining everything all of these things everything from all of these arrays whatever you have supplied it is combining all of them together and producing 1d array for you as an output so this is how we use concatenate i just hope that it was clear to you now moving forward we also get the function which is called stack how does that work so stacking means it's simple putting one thing above another one okay or putting one thing below another one whatever you say just one one upon another okay then so here we have the example these are the two arrays which we're going to join using stack and this is how we do this right so here you simply need to write numpy and then put the function which is a stack and provide the tuple of arrays right and if you see over here it is stacking one below another now you must be thinking that it is also doing one below another and we just saw that when we use access value equals to zero it also does the one below another so what is the difference so difference if you notice over here in in this first example in concatenation if you notice it takes the 
array element and then combines them together one below another but if you notice over here here it takes the whole array right including this bracket okay here also it takes whole array and it puts one below another you see so it doesn't it is not combining the elements or contains it's simply putting one array below another okay so this is how it works so when you use stack it produces the 3d array if you check if you check the dimension of this particular array but when you use concatenate it produces the 2d array all right now moving forward here we have another function which is called v stack in this v stands for vertical so again joining the arrays vertically let's see what is the difference right so here you have both of these two array and when you do v stack you get this kind of array i mean the output and this syntax is pretty simple if you are thinking that it is exactly same concatenate where x is value equals to zero then you are right it is it does the exact same thing right and when it produces the output that that's gonna be 2d right if you are concatenating 2d arrays means whatever array you concatenate it gonna produce the same thing it's not like uh, the stack one where you concatenate 2d arrays and it produces 3d right it's exactly same as the concatenating using axis value equals to zero that means it is com combining the content only and not simply putting one array on top of another so this is v stack then the next one which is called d stack d stack is nothing but d stands for depth stack when you do this then you get this kind of thing which is exactly same as your this function stack function which you tried in the beginning both of these two things produces the 3d array right even if you combine two 2d 2d arrays it produces the 3d array in the output and if you notice over here it is taking the whole array right as it is and it is putting one below another so this goes at the top this goes at the bottom same thing happens over here as well right so you see it is that simple so both of these two things stack and d stack both of these two things are same and produces the same output next thing is h stack what h stack is here h stands for horizontal stacking let's have an example here we have the same two arrays and when you combine them all together using h stack this kind of output you get right and now if you are thinking that it is exactly same as we get using concatenation having access value equals to one then you are right it produce if both of these two things are exactly same and both of them produces the same sort of output if you supply the uh, this kind of array which is 2d right then in output you're gonna have 2d array only right it, it's not like a stacking where it produces the 3d arrays right so if you notice over here it is simply taking the content of this row and from this row and putting side by side this is placed just next to it this is placed just next to it if you notice over here all right so i just hope that it is clear to you now if you conclude all of them and if you try to summarize all of them then you can summarize them in two categories all that joins we saw all the joins that we saw just now those all can be categorized in two parts one is vertical join the other one is horizontal join so in vertical join we learned this where we are concatenating using axis value equals to zero then stacking right then again we saw v stack which is vertical stacking and then we saw d stack right so all of them are vertical joints now if you see these two produces the 3d array no matter if even if you are supplying 2d array in output it will produce 3d arrays right because it is taking the whole array and putting them one above other or one below other whatever you say all right so that's something which you should notice and over here when you do concatenate using access value equals to zero or v stack then you get this kind of output where it takes the content from both of the arrays and combine them one below another okay now it comes to horizontal join in horizontal joins what happens two things concatenate having value x is equals to zero right and then h stack have a simple right having tuple of arrays right and it just simply puts one array 
next to the another one right and the output which you get is 2d simple okay if you are supplying 2d so this is it in a nutshell i just hope that it was simple for you to understand just in case if you have any doubt put that into the comment section until then happy learning and all the very best